what is going on Tazzies? Welcome back to another video. Now in this video I'll be showing you how to play Tommy Manuel's rendition of Blue Moon. Now this is a difficult song to learn but an easy one to master because he plays four different parts. A bass line, a drum line, a melody line and a lead guitar sort of line. All on his one guitar. Now as soon as I heard this song I wanted to play it so I went on uh, YouTube and I searched up tutorials for it but no one had one except maybe a couple of people who just did slow-mo or slow down versions of the song so I thought I'd learn it off of these slow-mos off of tabs and listen to the song so that I could bring to you the easiest way possible for all of you to get this song and get it as close to what Tommy Emmanuel plays as possible without needing to be as good as him so without further ado we're going to actually start the video okay so here we go this will be the bass line first up which sounds like this That's what it sounds like, okay? Now, to do this, it's really simple. You just need to start on the sixth, on the fifth string, third fret, and then just play three, and go to second fret, and do an open. Just like that. Three, two, open. Okay? And then on the sixth fret, you play three, one. Okay? Now that's all going down. And then you go up, and you start again. Okay, so three, two, O, oh, sixth fret, sixth string, sorry, three, third fret, first fret. Okay, then you need to go second fret, third fret, all on the sixth string. Then go back to the A string and play open, one, two. Okay. But now two and three are a little bit quicker because it goes oh too quickly start again. But quick. Okay, like that. So that's the bass line. Now I just want you to quickly just count how many notes there are, okay? So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, okay? And then just say and one. Alright? Now that is important so that when we play the drums, okay, which you need to just be playing with your thumb and your palm like there-ish, okay. Now this will be really simple to do, right, if you just have if you just add in the notes, okay? And count them, okay? And what this ends up doing, okay, and just listen to where I do the drums. Great. hit the drums right on every even number okay so one no two three four five six seven eight is the open and one doesn't count two three four five six seven eight and one now that's the drums and the bass. Now I just want to take a little bit more time than necessary on that, just so that you can start getting that up to speed and um, properly done. Now I just want you to sit there just for a little bit, just for about the next five minutes or so, and just practice that one thing, okay? Because after you get that, your fingers will feel a little bit more independent, okay? Now after that, after, so after you spent five minutes on that, we're going to look at the chords, okay? So spend your five minutes right now and we'll get back. Okay, so now that we've finished the bass and the drums, we're going to include the chords and that will finish it off for today's lesson. So, the chord is an A minor, which is 2nd fret on the 4th and 3rd string, and then 1st fret of the 2nd string, using your ring, middle, and index finger. That'll give you an A minor shape. All you need to do is remember that your index finger and your ring finger don't move. So keep them planted there constantly, okay? Right? And all you need to do, okay, is move your middle finger. Often you can do this and this, okay? Now what you're going to be playing, okay, is put your index finger on the third fret, okay, of the A string. 
So your middle finger plays the second fret. Okay, and then you're gonna op put your middle finger back here. And then you're gonna play, pluck just these three strings with your three index middle and ring fingers on your right hand, and then use your thumb, which I've got a thumb pick right now just so that you can hear the bass line better, um, but you don't need to wear one for this. So you need to play these three and the thumb with the bass note all together. Okay, and then you put your index finger on the third fret. Thumb comes over. This will hurt for the first little bit after you play it. Okay, you play just the first fret. Okay, and then you just play these two. Second and third fret with your index and middle finger. Okay. Middle finger comes up and plays the second fret of the sixth string. Okay. So just quickly before we finish it off, index, uh, ring finger, uh, pinky, middle finger, open, put your middle finger down, pinky finger, thumb comes over, okay, and then you play these two, which is just these two. So remember that's it's just the second and the third, okay? So you play with the thumb, middle finger, okay, and then, when you, then all you do is you put your pinky, okay, put your pinky on the third fret, and you play those, that together with the second and third fret, okay, and then you just begin again with your middle finger on the third, so then you just go open, second fret with your middle finger, and pinky on the third fret, okay, now, Right there, just before, I hammered on, just like that. Okay, that's just because I think that just adds like a little bit of a flair to it. Um, now, you don't have to do that. If last thing to note is that Tommy Manuel plays uh, this bit when you do this bit here. Okay, Tommy Manuel plays every second time that he plays this through for the intro. Okay, he goes, so he plucks the two together. And then he plays it just that one, once more, okay? So finally, once, t once last through. Pinky, middle, open, pinky, thumb comes over. Play the two together. Play with your thumb, with your middle finger, then go to your pinky and play it together. Open. Now that is it for everything for the intro. Okay, so that is it for everything. Now the last thing that I want to do is I just want to teach you how to increase strength in your fingers. Now this is really easy. All you have to do is work your way up and down the neck by just going one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four on each string. Using all your fingers, sliding up a fret and then going back down. Sliding up again that constantly I you I, I do always do that when I just before I start a YouTube video or start doing a couple of hours of practice I always just do that for a little bit and stretch out my fingers and they get all nice and formed up and ready for the session um, but that is it for this video so I hope that you enjoyed this video if you did please leave a like thank you so much for watching that's it from me Taz Venom out <laughs>